Hello and welcome back. Today we're making a craft cart on wheels. As you can see, some of these craft carts can be quite expensive. Doing these craft carts yourself can save you about $45 to $50. We appreciate your support. Please hit subscribe and like. To make our cart, we used some old milk crates. As you can see, we tried painting it. That didn't work. So we're going to be covering it. So to attach our milk crates, we're going to be drilling a couple holes on each of the corners so we can attach it with zip ties. Just drill two holes in each corner so you can put your zip ties through it. And just make sure that the holes correspond to the other side in about the same location. Then when you put it together, just put the zip ties through one side, then bring it through the other side. But keep them loose so you can adjust and uh, get all the zip ties in first before you start tightening them up. Once they're all in place, then you can begin tightening them up. And we found this to be very sturdy and a very good way of connecting them. Then you can just snip off the tips of your zip ties. Then just repeat the process again for the next milk crate. And you can use any kind of configuration of your milk crates. You could have, we're using three, but you could have four or just two, whatever you'd like. Then for our base, we're hot gluing a piece of wood on the bottom so we can put casters on. Then to put our casters on, we used 5 8 inch screws to attach those. I really like the idea of casters. Then you can move your little cart around wherever you like and it makes it a lot more mobile. Once the casters are on, I put in four more holes and attached four more 5 8 screws on the bottom just to help secure that wood a little better too. Stay tuned for later in the video. I'll be showing you four different versions of this craft cart you can use for different applications. Just look how strong and stable that is. Easily twirls around. This is gonna be a great project. Hope everyone got their glue gun for Christmas. I've just warmed mine up so that I can attach some cardboard uh, to the tops of these so that it's not so uneven. And so just lay down your glue, then put on your cardboard and make sure it's flush with the front. And these milk crates are 11 inches on the side and 13 inches on the back. Then we'll do the same on the side using a long strip of cardboard. We'll just glue it down, make sure it's flush with the front and glue that down. When you're putting your cardboard on and they may not seem quite perfection, that's quite all right because it will be wrapped with some linen later. Then we'll glue some more cardboard on the inside so we can get rid of that grating in there and make it all nice and smooth. So we started our wrapping process by making corner pieces because we don't want any of the yellow from the crate showing through. It's an important step, don't skip it, and it really works. Just helps in giving it a nice finished look. There are two corner patterns. This one that I'm doing right now is for the top and bottom corners. We thought fabric glue might have worked really well, but it doesn't. So use your trusty glue gun. It'll work a lot better attaching these corners. And this is the second pattern. Just make your squares and cut two angled in cuts on these ones. And those are for the two or the four middle corners. Set your cart over top of the drop cloth that we're using and leave about 36 inches of overhang on the top. You're gonna to be needing it. And center the cart in the middle of the sides there so you have an even number on each side. Then you'll have to start cutting the material into the corners and it's a pretty good pattern, works very well actually. You can pick up this four foot by 15 foot canvas drop cloth at your local hardware store and it's about the perfect length for doing this project. It's a very affordable fabric option and it's really strong. And when you're cutting your sides to fold them in, cut right to the edge, but don't overcut. Then you'll start folding the sides in. And this is where we started using the glue gun because the fabric glue just let go too easily. Then you'll want to fold those corners in like little triangles as you see there. So it gives a nice finished seam to the edge. And then continue on doing the sides with the same little triangle so you get the nice little seam finish and pull it down tautly so you get a nice smooth finish as well. 
and continue gluing down the sides until all the corners are done. Then when you start working on that top big flap, uh, just put a little bit of glue down the sides and fold it over to make a nice little hem seam. It just gives a nicer finish so you don't have a lot of strings hanging around. Then once your hem seams are done, just lift it up, put glue on the sides, pull it tight and glue it on to the top. Then place some glue on the inside and bring that flap over and glue it on the inside there. Once again, pulling it down tightly so you get a nice smooth finish on the canvas there. Then on the bottom of the cart, which no one will see anyway, just cut away some of the material so there's room for the wheels and then just glue it onto the base. Then when we start wrapping the inside of our first hole, we make a nice little fold in there, another hem thing, put some glue on the back of that and glue it on the inside, nice and even on the front there. Then just secure that hem seam up on top, put a bead of glue down at the bottom and fold it all back in there and make sure it's all nice and tight and fits nicely into the corner. Then you'll bring that piece up onto the top and finish gluing it on the other side of the first cube hole. Then we'll just repeat that same process, making the hemmed edges and bringing it from one side up to the other on the other two holes. Then from your leftover material, cut a strip that's 13 inches wide Hem up the sides again and start at the top and complete the same process working down the holes to the bottom. Just sort of up, down and over. And just remember to pull tightly and tautly and glue into the corners so you get a nice sort of unbubbly finish. Your scrap may not be long enough, but you just have to put another little panel at the bottom then to finish it off, wrap it around the bottom and glue it all together. So one of our first applications you can use it for is a laundry cart or a pantry cart. And if you don't feel like wrapping it after you've finished putting the boxes together, it makes a nice little recycling station. Just put a command hook on the one side for the bag and a few little boxes for your assorted recyclables. But we decided to make a little craft card out of it because that's what we desperately needed. Look at that, nice and organized, mobile, fantastic. Thanks for crafting with me today and I hope you give this project a try. See you next time.